I feel, I, feel, I, think I, was, I was hungry, but I feel 100% better now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew once you got that dog in you, you know what I mean? That's just going to make me feel better. Yeah. I feel, I feel, he just need that dog in him. He's he going to be all right. Uh, shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Congratulations to Geronimo for picking up the new Honda Gold Wing. Man, it feels good to be back on the Gold Wing. All roads lead back to the Gold Wing, so congratulations. <laughs> Tell me about it. All <laughs> roads. You can cheat all you want, but you're still going to go back home at the end of the day. <laughs> you can all cheat on the wing, but you're going back. You're going to go back. All roads yeah. lead back to the Gold Wing. Man, I'll tell you. We're going to yeah. bust a left right here, ain't it? Yeah, we're down a little bit further. So we just got through eating at this little buffet spot. What you call it, uh, Geronimo, the dogs, huh? Man, we're going to get some dogs. <laughs> <laughs> some, fried, some fried dogs. <laughs> That's what my man. boy called it, man. He said, let's go to the Chinese buffet and get some dogs. Man, you know? I don't want no dogs. <laughs> Shrimp fried dog race. <laughs> Man, y'all something else, shrimp fried. I cleaned the plate off. I ain't had nothing left on my plate. Nothing but dog. Hey, nothing but dog. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, that old and black. Just, the weatherman ain't lied, man. Yeah, he did. The weatherman told a lie. He said it's going to be, what'd you say, a high Nick, 64? Nick <laughs> 64. Bright sunshine. 64 yeah. and sunny. Man, yeah. He lied so good I had it. I earned the source lead T shirt and everything. I was ready for it. <laughs> sure, he, it was uh overcast and cold. Right now fifty hey, fifty six degrees. Man. I'm showing fifty six. Hey. Got a fuel range of hundred and three miles. He said the fuel range is how much? hundred and three miles. One eighty. You got one eighty? <laughs> uh huh. Wow. Man. Yeah, that bike don't burn any gas, man. I, yeah. I give him that. What's, what's your fuel range, uh, Geronimo? I ain't even got to sit on it, man. I wonder how you set it. Well, you got you got the select you got the select button, and then you got your uh, set button. So you you tap the you will tap the uh, SEL button until yeah. it go until it goes down to the bottom one, which says range. Yeah. Okay, my range one twenty two. One twenty two. Okay. Yeah, I got you, All right. So I'm pulling this trailer, so I I gotta. My load is a little bit heavier. Oh yeah. Uh huh. So. That's the thing about when you pull a trailer, it kind of cuts in on your on your uh your MPG. But for me, the uh. The benefits of having a trailer. You know, it outweighs not having a trailer, in my opinion. But if you don't pull a trailer, yeah, you get better gas mileage. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. So it's cool out here today. 55 degrees out, but I'm snug like a bug in a rug. I bet you are. <laughs> 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 that ain't too bad, Blunt. Ain't letting nothing get in. <laughs> you I'm can a, ride in the North Pole and be snug. I'm going to turn on this Corbin, this fire and ice. And let it get toasty. Got <laughs> <laughs> to take all three of them. You got to hot wire it over the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's one of the best investments you can have, though. Yes, sir. I promise you, man. It, it, it they work. It works. Yeah. If you're gonna be out here in the wintertime, you better have some heated gear. Exactly. Even in the summer, like at the bottom of those mountains, it's like 85, and you get to the top. Uh, what was those mountains we was at, Geronimo, the Rocket Mountain? Right. Got to the top, it was 20 degrees and snowing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. And that's the good thing about heated gear. You can use it for a windbreaker. 
you know, yep. when it's on those nights or days when it's when it's nippy out. Hmm. Choked up here. <coughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. The dog. A <laughs> <laughs> dog barking in your stomach is what it is. <laughs> Man, you, you almost made me spit my spit my my drink out. <laughs> That a dog's barking in my stomach, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't ate right. Too, ate, ate too much of that dog. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't right, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ate too much of that dog, huh? Woo. Man, yeah, I needed this ride today. Yeah, I was starting out kind of slow, but like now I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I just needed some food. <laughs> yeah, you know, I did that other day, Wave. I, uh, you know, I went the whole day. I didn't eat anything, and uh, later that evening, my head started hurting me. And uh, man, I ended up taking me about three ibuprofen just to stop the headache. I may end up going back over, so uh, you might want to stay over there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold this night. Yeah, cause it, we kept we catch yeah we catching up to this. Uh, I thought they, they was going to go on. But, yeah. Yeah, they trying to get over the light themselves. So, uh, the, so Geronimo, the last bike you had, you had a what? What you have, a BMW? I had a, a BMW. Okay. And I traded that. I actually traded that for a Harley Heritage, trying to think that I can step down. Right. And then I got an Indian Pursuit with the Heritage. Oh, okay. And then I got the pursuit. I got the, this with the pursuit. Trade in on the pursuit. Right. So I'm gonna stay with this for a little minute. Yeah. All roads lead back to the wing. All happy. roads lead back to the wing. And, uh, you, you know, you can leave home, go out there and party, and have fun with all the other bikes, but you're gonna end up getting bored and coming back on home to the, to the wing. You know, uh, fellas, I talked. I did a video the other day, and I just kind of touched on it. I didn't. You know, I didn't get in depth about it, but I, I raised the question of would you ride your Honda Goldwing to a Harley biker event? And a lot of people, you know, weighed in on that. A lot of people gave me some good feedback. Yeah. Uh huh. Because a lot of a lot of the bike riders out there are mostly geared toward Harley. Oh yeah, especially Sturgis. Yeah. They're geared toward Harley, but uh. You know, we had a we had a couple of rallies for the Honda Goldwing, but most of the bike riders out there are for Harley bikers. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people said that they ride their Goldwings to to Harley biker events all the time. Oh yeah. Yeah. I see several Goldwings in Sturgis, but I never been. But you know, you look at their pictures. You know. Right. Yeah, this yeah. old man, the gold wing gonna be everywhere. Right. Yeah. You know, we rode our wings down there. Remember them six years yeah. ago? We uh-huh. went to Sturgis on them. Yep. Everybody was pretty friendly. It wasn't doing the rally, though, but everybody on uh, the yeah. little trip was, everybody was friendly, all the Honda guys. Yep. And that's the thing about, you know, at least with me, I, my favorite part is, is doing the, the ride, and I don't want to trailer the bike. I mean, I will trailer my bike, but. It's rare. You know, I got an old saying, if you see my gold wing on the trailer, call the police because it's stolen. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a sin. That's, that's, that's a sin. It's a TCA code against this for that. Yeah. It's against the law. It's against the law, man, to put my bike on the trailer. I will put it on the trailer, but it's just rare. I, I get more jo- I get more more enjoyment just, you know, riding riding my bike. Yeah. You know. You know, I get more I get more enjoyment. I think that having a Honda Goldwing, one thing for certain, you know the bike is reliable. You that's, know. that's the main thing I wanted. That's the main reason why I kinda trade it too. Yeah. You know. You know, I talked to a guy the other day, he got a Harley, he said, Chris, man, I got bad news. Well I thought he was gonna tell me, you know, somebody in his family who had some issues or something. He said, Man, my my Harley is in the in the shop and they, they having a hard time finding the part for it. And I was like, really? He said, yep. He said, he ain't got but 
I think he said he had 40,000 miles on his Harley. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty decent amount on a Harley. Yep. I think that's what he told me. But he I said, say anybody, because, you know, 40,000 miles, you're doing some decent riding. Yep. True that. One thing about these Indians, they pretty, but they got a whole lot of glitches and little gremlins. It's hard to get rid of them. Yeah, they do. A lot of computer problems. Yeah. Geronimo, pull up on the side of me. Let me get a look at let me let me get a look at your wing, man. I I just wanna just get a glance at it. There it is. Man, there it is right there, the black. That's a 23 model, right? 23? The 23. 2023. Like I said, hey, I remember Cruz, man, he was criticizing them. And he was saying that Honda should offer more colors besides, you know, the blue, black, red, or whatever. Right. You know, but they can go with a green, they can go with a yellow, you know, an orange. You know, they can do some things with it, but. Right. Uh, they're black, they're they, good up there. Yeah, but he said uh, they, uh, up I personally more. think in 23, yeah. I, I think gotta... in 23 they just went, they just had some leftover paint, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, it looks, it looks Harley, like... Harley be doing that too. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Up, uh, let's pick up the pace a little bit. All right. Yeah, Harley be doing that too, man. They they have some leftover paint and shoe. That's what they'll go with. Right. Leftover parts. And you can tell that's what they're doing. Yeah. Because everybody got a downside, man, to stay in business. Yeah. Even even Honda has a, they got like a a two-tone red out now. Yeah. It's like a mixture of the ardent red with, you know, and also I think the candy, the regular candy red. I think it looks orange in certain lights, something like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, yeah. Yeah, congratulations, man, once again. Hey, thank you, yes, thank sir. you. I'm getting your new gold wing. Going back to the wing, rather. Because you had a... I had, I think I had a 2019 or a 20... It was a white one. Yeah. But it was a uh, manual. And it didn't have the big trunk on it. I like that one, man. Yeah. But it wasn't as comfortable as the uh, the 16. Right. But so it, this, was, it was a good bike, though. So this your third one? This your third goal wing? This my third goal wing. Yeah. And Wavy, you, Wavy, this is what your, you had, how many goal wings you had, Wavy? He had three, three two. Yeah, uh -huh. three of them. <laughs> yeah, and I had, uh, I had the 14, the 16, and the 21, so this is my third one. Hey, yeah. My, yeah. There's a, a lot of goal wing experience right here. Yeah. As Wavy say. All roads lead back to the goal wing. <laughs> I'm working on it. Believe me, I'm working on it. All roads lead back to the wing. So we got about a month and a half, springtime. You know, I, I talked about this the other day. I think I said accidentally May 20th, but it's actually March 20th. So March 20th, springtime is going to be here. And my New Year's resolution it's to log more miles in 2023. That's my plan. And also, I was uh, I was reading an email one you guys sent me. You was asking about my rear tire, and I responded and uh, you know let you know that it was the Bridgestone Drive Guard 195, 55, 16. But you emailed me back and said that you was having a hard time finding that tire. You looked everywhere for it, and you was asking me, where can you find it? So I want to let everybody know that's watching this video that the Bridgestone Drive Guard 195, 55, 16 has been discontinued. Uh, it has it? Yeah. You can, no long, you can no longer buy the Drive Guard. Now, there are some alternatives out there, but as of the... The Bridgestone, the Drive Guard, the Run Flat, it's been discontinued. I wonder why they do that, you know. Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Well, you know, I got my personal thoughts about why Bridgestone discontinued the Drive Guard, but, you know, it's not scientific. I don't have any proof. 
you know, it's just my thoughts, it's just my opinion. Yeah. Uh, I figure one of the two things happened. I figure that either Honda got with Bridgestone because so many people was buying the car tire on their gold wings for their gold <laughs> wings. <laughs> and, I heard it. And like I say, it, it, I don't have proof, but, you know, it's possible that Honda reached out to Bridgestone and said, you know, hey, a lot of people buying these car tires for 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 our, you know for their motorcycles, and you know, Bridgestone has the I guess they have the contract with Honda. They provide all of the tires for the Gold Wings and a lot of, of their other bikes. Yeah. So it might have came down to Bridgestone not wanting to lose the contract with Honda by selling a bunch of those uh, car tires. And they're cutting into the sales of their motorcycle tires. Now I, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I don't know that Geronimo. I don't have proof of that. You know, yeah. that's just that's just my thoughts. You know, some it may be some smart people out there that that might know the the real reason why. They gonna uh, come after you, man. You know, <laughs> you that's what they gonna do. Man, the man, the man with them black suits. They gonna pull up in your dough, man. <laughs> Well, and that's another thing, you know, Dark Side has been around for many years. It's something that I didn't come up with. You know, people have been Dark Side long before me, but it was something that just wasn't publicized. It was something that a lot of people didn't talk about. It was frowned upon. It was taboo. And uh, JC turned me on to the Dark Side. I ended up switching over to the Dark Side. I proved to a lot of people. Uh, that the tire has a wider footprint, it stops quicker, it gives you more rubber, it has better grip, it channels more water, it has a heavier load rating, the tire is cheaper, uh, it's, it's more comfortable on uh, straightaways, it lasts longer. So it, there's so many benefits to running a car tire over a motorcycle that I put it out there. A lot of people uh, saw my videos and a lot of gold wing people started running car tires on their on their gold wing. And even to this day people are still emailing me about this car tire. So I believe and like I said I don't have proof, but I believe that after <laughs> promoting and showing people that the car tire worked, even right now on this particular bike, I drove this bike all the way out to the west coast, uh New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Nevada. California, you know, all on this yep. car tire on that one trip. Uh, if you guys missed a video of my uh, West Coast ride, you can click on that link in the top corner. But I proved, I showed a lot of people that it works. A lot of people started switching. And uh, I just believe that, you know, it's, it's possible that it was cutting into the sales of... <laughs> <laughs> I believe that it's just possible that, you know, people buying these car tires sales. was cutting into the sales of the motorcycle tires, and Bridgestone said, well, we either got to stop making this tire for Honda pull the contract, or either Honda called them and said, look, if you don't discontinue it, then we're going to uh, cancel your contract. So they probably looked at it as, do we lose billions? I mean, billions, <laughs> or do we lose trillions? So I think the obvious choice was discontinue the tire. That's just my opinion. It's not scientific. <laughs> I have no proof. You know, that's just my thoughts. And if the men in black suits come knocking at my door, looking for me, looking for me, you got to go through Geronimo first. <laughs> you, you already go. you already on hundred list from my go wing. That's twenty eighteen. So hey, you, I know you already on probation. Uh, hey, hey, if they if they come for me, you got to get Wavy and Geronimo. <laughs> so that, but you know, I I really don't know the honest reason why they discontinued the tire. But I just know that that tire is discontinued. I'll be talking about it a little bit later in another video. But uh, there are some alternatives. My recommendation would be uh, you can look for Kumo. I think Kumo makes a one ninety five fifty five sixteen. I'm yeah. not sure if it's a run flat though. It may be just a regular car tire. 
Now the Bridgestone Ecopia is the one I yeah. used to run. I like that one. It's a, it's a, it got a high mileage, um, high mileage rating on it too. The okay. Bridgestone Ecopia. Is that a run flat or that's a non run flat? It's a non run flat, but when I say, oh my God, it runs so smooth. Yeah, you you, you I, have to look I, I and see if the that. back of your bike is back there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, that's all right. Wave it turned me on to that one, man. It, it's a nice size. It was a good one? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's real so, good. So there are some, some alternatives out there. So uh, my suggestion is just go to go to Google, put in your tire size, 195-55-16, and uh, find a tire uh you know, that's going to give you the type of ride that you want. If you want a sporty ride, look for a sporty tire in that size. If you want a, a all-season tire, look for an all-season tire in that size. But, you know, I believe in the dark side. That's one of the reasons why I bought my own tire machine. Because know, man. a lot of these shops are not going to put a, a car tire on your bike. You know, that's, you know, they're going to say the insurance company won't allow us to do it. So, you know, that's why I bought my own tire machine. That way I don't have to worry about somebody telling me, well, we can't do it. You know, that's not safe. You know. Exactly. When I, when I prove that it's safe. You know, I'm running a car tire as we speak. So. Probably it's safer, and, man, to me. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, the same tire that's on, the same tire that I'm running right now on this bike is the same tire that, was on here when I when I drove out to the West Coast. This is the same tire. If that was a motorcycle tire, ten thousand miles, you would have to pull it off. Yep. I'm still riding on the same car tire that I rode out from East Coast to West Coast. I'm on it right now, as we speak. And I've never had one issue. So. What do you guys think? Be sure to put it down in the comment section below if you guys know the reason why Bridgestone discontinued the tire or if you want to weigh in on the dark side, be sure to drop a comment. The dark side saved me uh, on the way to New Mexico. My uh, On that 16 wing, my tire went bad. Uh -huh. And uh, the closest motorcycle dealership, like I couldn't make it any farther. We was in a rural part of New Mexico. The closest dealership it's like 260 miles away. I would have had to get it towed that far. So the only thing available was a mom and pop shop, and I got a dog side put on 185-55-16, like a little cheap tie. And man, that tie, man, I rode it all the way home from New Mexico, and when I got rid of the bike, it still had that same $69 tie on it. No problem. Man, the best decision, day. that was the best thing ever happened. With that, that, that ball patch on that bridge down top. <laughs> yeah. Because I was going to pay for a tow truck for 300 miles. Uh, or, you know, I saw the dog Vader sign in the air. <laughs> Man. Now, that was your first that was your first car tire, wasn't it, Wave? Yeah, that 2016. You remember I called you when I was out of town. I was like, what do you think? It had a dealership almost 300 miles away, and there's a mom and pop shop. And you yep. just said dog side. That was yep. the only response, dog side. Go for it, and then you would say it was sixty-nine bucks, the best, the best sixty-nine dollars you ever spent. Man, it took me all the way through New Mexico, I did an iron butt back from New Mexico, and I rode it around, went to the Dragon, I think, and then when I traded the bike in, it still had that dog side with like a ninety-five percent tread life was left on it. <laughs> yeah, a sixty-nine dollar tie. Yep. That bike didn't last one week, Chris. Wow, it was gone. Somebody it was thought gone. It. With the dog, I thought it. The guy that bought it, he still had that tie on there. Yeah. And he think he thinking wavy right now. I yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I still have people email me to this day. People still want to know about, you know, hey, what is that tire size I need? You know, what's the name of it? What's the, you know, they still, they, you know, people are tired of, you know, if you really like riding your bike, you know, the thing about the, the, the original tires that come on the gold wing, you're only going to get about 10,000 miles out of the tires. Yeah. So that's equivalent to about one riding season. Yeah. So if you really love to ride, if you really love to travel, you know, that tire's not going to hold up. One year later, you're going to have to pull it off. I didn't even last a year. It, it, it was like 8,000 miles of sewing wire. Yep. Yep. 
And if you pull a trailer, you know, you're really going to uh, have to change that tire out faster. So, you know, going dark side is just a smart decision, you know. But, you know, there are some guys out there, man, I like to ride aggressive. You know, I'm an, I'm an aggressive rider. Well, you know, at this at this point in my life, at my age now, I don't have nothing else to prove. So, you know, if I can extend my ride by adding more miles to my bike, you know, I don't have nothing else to prove. Well, Geronimo busted that theory. He went to the drag, and he had a dog side on his uh, 2016 wing, and he was pretty much scrubbing the handlebars on the ground every yeah. turn. <laughs> yeah. Dang, why is it dang? Yeah, I did the dragon on the dark side, and I was pulling the trailer. Dang, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was pulling the trailer. If you guys didn't see that video, you can check it out in the top corner. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, I even had somebody once told me, well, maybe if I – can't afford motorcycle tires, then maybe I shouldn't, you know, ride a gold wing. It's not that I can't afford the motorcycle tires. It's, you know, why can't it throw money away? That's that's why I bought an expensive tire machine. Now I can change my tire whenever I want. So, you know, it's just it's just a smart decision in my opinion. And uh, I, I hate that Bridgestone discontinued the tire, but you know there are other alternatives. You just have to uh, you just have to look. I got one car tire at home. I'm saving it. And uh, between this between this bike and the 2016, whichever tire wears out first, I got one tire left. And after that, you know I'm gonna be on the hunt for 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 another car tire. So if you find a car tire, you see it on sale, you may want to go ahead and grab it and put it in your garage and save it. Because if you, if you love to ride as much as we do, as much as I do, no, it's, it just a matter, right. it's just a matter of time. So we just I had to, one on um, I had one on my big Indian Roadmaster. Same time, one eighty five fifty five sixteen. Oh you did? Yes. Oh okay. Yeah, people putting them on, you know. It's just a smart alternative. You know, it's giving you a wider footprint. You know, it's giving you more rubber. It's going to stop faster. It's going to channel more water during the rain because of the deeper grooves. It has a heavier load rating. Yeah. And, and a lot of people don't know that once you take the weight of the gold wing and the passenger and put it, you know, and mount that motorcycle tire on the rim, you already at your your uh your max weight ceiling. Yeah, that's why they wear out so fast. You already at the limit. You already at the limit. But a car tire has a heavier load rating. So you can be you're gonna be able to, you know, pull that trailer, add more luggage. The and tire's gonna people, run. Uh, oh, go ahead, my dad. I was just saying the tire's gonna run cooler. Yeah. You know, more rubber. You can plug it. You know, you you pull into a a shop, they're not going to want to plug a motorcycle tire. No. But you can plug, you know, you can plug a uh, a car tire as long as it's, as long as the uh, the nail is in the, the tread area and not on the sidewall. Now, years ago, you could plug a, you know, a motorcycle tire. They made a, a plug for it, and then they started using a plug patch. And now they, they don't even, they don't even, uh, plug uh, motorcycle tires anymore. You can have a brand new motorcycle tire. If you pick up a nail, they're going to tell you uh, buy a new one. You got to buy a new tire. Yeah, I got a plug. I got, got 10,000 miles. I got, I'm, I got 10, miles on the plug right now. <laughs> in my garage. Pay a wave it at. I, I got a nail in my tire 100 miles and they wanted me to buy a new one. I went straight to AutoZone and got a plug. Yep. <laughs> yep. They want you to buy a new tire, man. Man, so, I when, promise you. When I bought my when I bought my car tire, it came with road hazard. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't they sell, sell. But they don't sell you road hazard on a motorcycle tire. You can't they get road hazard. Don't. Got they can't. Got they yep. can't. You know yep. they got to replace it if you get a nail. Yep. And that's ridiculous because 
the motorcycle tire is just as strong as a car tire. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, they made by the same company, so I don't know why you can't plug it. I mean, that's... And you know, the crazy part, people say it's going to come off the rim, but every time I've had one put on, they always say that his feet on the motorcycle wheel are better than it does the car wheel because they have a hard time getting them off the car, off the motorcycle wheel. When you change the dog side out, it's hard to even get them off sometimes. Wow. Yeah. They're just thinking about a car going around an on ramp at 60 miles an hour, putting all that pressure on the front, on the front left or right side, and it's not popping off the wheel. So a car is putting nowhere near that much force on them. Right. Well, like put nowhere, nowhere near that much force on it. Yeah. Well, you know, I said seeing is believing. You know, there's a lot of quote unquote subject matter experts out there. Everybody's an expert. But until you try it, until you actually experience it, until you actually use it for many, many miles, then I think you have the right to, you know, weigh in. But if you never used it, you never tried it. You know, you only heard what your friends said or something like that. You know, I think you need to try it for yourself. Like I said, the what the uh, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, in my opinion. I'm like Brother Cowboy. I ain't never going back. <laughs> never going back. I ain't gonna do it. I'm down to 57 miles on my range. 140. 140. <laughs> I didn't top off, so I'm at 86. Yeah. I'm anxious to see what this bike gonna do. You gonna push it to the limit? Now look at this truck, man. Now he wrong for that, see. man. Yeah, he, he in there. See, he wrong for that, man. He couldn't wait another few seconds. <laughs> yeah. I may need to call his truck number in. I may have to report this guy. Good thing I'm not in a hurry. Yeah. You know, I was, uh, you know, on a ride one time, and a freaking truck tried to run past me. He blew a tire, and it blew the tire off, you know. No, some gators. Right? The yeah. Tire, it, road it, gators. Yeah, the gate, but it blew the, the whole tire come off the rim. It wasn't, it wasn't just the gator. It was the whole tire. Oh, man. Yeah, I had just started recording, man. The good thing I was paying attention. That could have been cataclysmic. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mess up day right there. Yeah, that would have been terrible, man. That's my worst fear bike ride, though. Send my tires and the deer. It's like the worst fear. Man, I know. Yeah, that wouldn't be good either. That's my luck. It'd be both of them. I send my tire blowing the deer right now at the same time. <laughs> then I have on a build helmet to make it work. Oh, man. <laughs> what you say? What you say? Wait, if you would take, if you was going down, you would take the build helmet off of the I way down. I take the build helmet off and just take my chances without the build off. That's pretty bad. Now I got some built gloves on. These gloves work. Yeah, actually, that's actually. fine. But the helmet, if you own a build helmet and you care anything about your life, <laughs> please take it off. <laughs> it, 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 they forty nine and fifty nine dollars for a reason. <laughs> you know the, the windshield. I, I can take a windshield off my sewer, trade it in, and get five built helmets. Just my windshield. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that ought to tell you something right there. Five built helmets for the price of one sewer windshield. <laughs> wow. That Bill Helmer to put a strap on your head if you go down, huh? That's pretty bad. Now, Geronimo, what's that you wearing? A shoey? Yeah, it's a okay. shoey. Yeah. I upgraded from my RF. I think it's a, some kind of, I don't know what it is. I think it's a GT1200, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'm wearing my HJC, but I have my shoey in the uh in the trailer. Who 
that other I side thought, right. I saw the sewer the business here, man. When you finna do some real serious business, thousand miles, that's what the sewer is for. Right. Yep. It's comfortable too. I got to give it to it. It's a real comfortable helmet. The only other one I can wear is HJC. I like my uh, the HJC. I got that uh, the modular one. I can't remember the model number on it, but you got uh, you got a, you got an IS Max two. You got a yeah the IS Max okay. the modular. I can wear that one all day too. Yeah, they even got a new one out now called I think it's called the IS one hundred. I right, look into that. See what color they got. Yeah, this one here is the I uh, I ninety. They got a I ninety, a I one hundred. I think I'm saying it correctly. I one hundred. So that's a modular one you got on or full face. It's modular. So that's the one that replaced mine, the one you got on. Yes. The I ninety. Yeah. Uh huh. Just the I ninety. They they up to the I one hundred right now. I'm gonna go ahead and change lanes. Okay. Pulling the escapade trailer. Smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. I see. <laughs> yeah. How you like that uh that other one, Chris? The uh the K and M trailer? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my baby. That that K and M trailer, you can't even tell it's behind you. Really? Yeah, I'd be looking back just to make sure it's back there. Yeah, it's 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 smooth. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah, you still got that one from the can? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that trailer, that was a fog, dude. That's that sporty, that's the sporty looking one, right? That's the one I was yeah, trying yeah. to ask about last time. Uh huh. Yeah. Yep, I still that's got a, it. That's a good looking trailer with that can, that can, yeah. Yep, I got that one on the 2016. Now, if I had my choice, I would have this Escapade on the 16 and the can am on this bike. Yeah, that'd be a good man, like to swap them out. Right. If I had, if I had my choice, that's what I would do, but. It'll cost me a lot of money to switch the paint jobs on them, so I'm just going to roll with what I got. I hear you. Uh-huh. Now, so those paint jobs, uh, they're far off on a 16 and the new one? Yeah, because the, 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 uh, the Escapade, that red is called a candy artist red, and the 16 is just candy red. So it's it's a lighter red. This one is a darker red. Yes, sir. So that's why I say the new gold wing. The 23, I think they took the red from the 16 and some of the red from the from this particular red, or maybe the 2019 red, and made a two-tone 23 gold wing. Huh. Uh-huh. I heard that. Uh, recycling paint. Yeah, they probably, know, that's probably what they're doing. <laughs> everybody, man, everybody downsizes. Recycling paint, man. Just the everybody downsizing, huh? Yeah, they they like to. We getting rid of old stock. I'm gonna jump over to this right lane here. Got about five miles to an exit. I'm showing 47 miles to empty. Where are you getting off at, Chris? I'm getting off at the uh, military exit. Probably getting off on the same exit you're getting off, because you're running down to what, 14? Uh, yeah, no, nah, I go down to 70. Oh, okay. Getting off on that 385 exit. Yeah, yeah, we get off on the same exit, but I'm, we're going to go back the other way. Ah, uh, okay. Uh-huh. So that's about five more miles to that exit. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Hey, are you gonna, Chris, you going to run 385 back around? Yeah, I'm going to run Yeah, I'm gonna run 385 toward... Uh, All right. Yeah, we're going the same way, so I'll run it through. Yeah, I'm glad I got the bike out today. 
It's 58 degrees out now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the weatherman said. I know, man. We heard the same. We couldn't have that early. It's 10 in the morning. Yeah, it was cool this morning, though. I got this old Corbin seat on right. Kind of glad Geronimo drew me out there. First, I didn't want to go. <laughs> you didn't want to go? Yeah. But, but, that, but that dog made it all work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That dog, huh? That shrimp fried dog made it work. Shrimp fried dog. And I'll tell you. That's terrible, man. Shrimp fried dog. Somebody else said it was a cat. Part of mixture of both. He ain't lying. Shrimp fried dog. <laughs> I guess the technical term would be dog fried rice. <laughs> I know that's right. Y'all gonna make me look at Chinese food different from now on to the hey, rest of my life. So <laughs> 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 you're gonna be uh you can't help but call a dog the rest of your life now. It's gonna be stuck in your head. I didn't catch it at first when Geronimo kept saying get to some dogs. <laughs> I thought he was talking about a hot dog. Hey. He's talking about a real dog. <laughs> hey. Man, time fly when you're having fun. Man, tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah. This day got away fast. <laughs> well, we we kind of started off a little late. Yeah, that's true too. Cause you know nine uses a good time unless you're riding a big ride. Right. And you, you really gotta get out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta get out early. You can't. By twelve o'clock, you need to be where you're gonna be. Exactly. Uh, one thirty, two o'clock. It's time to head back. Yeah, especially with that heat too, man. You know. Yep. You can. I'm gonna tell you something. You cannot ride him when it's real hot. That's true. Man, there's no gear you can put on. Hot is hot, and no, no matter what you, you do, on, hot is hot. I yep. take the cold any day over hot. Man, I know that's right. Yeah, it gets too hot. It's like, man, I can't. It's it's just too hot. How many miles are you showing on your bike, uh, Geronimo? 394. I got six miles till it's broken. 394. Yeah. You know, you know that DCT got three oil drain plugs. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> two, two filters. It's a transmission filter, actually, and an oil filter. Okay. Because the, the, the oil on a gold wing lubricates the, the engine and the same oil engine, uh, lubricate the clutch plate. Okay, so cool. Got, got three drain plugs. I think it's like 5.9 quarts of oil, of, if my memory serves me correct. I could be cor yeah. incorrect, but I think it's 5.9. That's cool. I'm going to yeah. go with a full synthetic, too, man. Yeah. I, I plan on keeping this bike. Yeah. Um, I think your first oil change do it 4,000 miles. Yeah. That one thing good about Honda, man. Yeah. That, that, that there is all right. But the mother people be wanting you to get rid of that oil at 500 miles. It's like, yeah. man, that oil's still good. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hey, what that be? <laughs> <laughs> yep, they'll try to, uh, they'll try to say, yeah, come back at 500 miles and get your oil changed. Yeah. That's what, that's what we, we recommend, yeah, but that ain't what the manufacturer recommends. Exactly. Right, I manufacturer. went by the gold when you're stepping on my American bike. Right. And then they want to charge your arm and a leg, man, to, to do that little first service. Yep. Yep. I have $600 every day. time you take it in. Nah, all right. Yep. Now I want to see the dealership, but this is warranty to work. <laughs> yep. Or repair. You know what I'm saying? All right, Geronimo, let me take one last look at you there, my brother. I know you're going to take this exit coming up. There's all Geronimo right. on the 2023 Honda Goldwing DCT. Congratulations once again. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Looking good, man. Looking real good. Hey, y'all be safe now. Sounding good. All right. All right, All right. Get with yeah. you later, man. All right, fellas. Good ride, All right. All right.
Beat down the status, now I'm a big dog, bitch. I pull up on the block, in a big poor bitch. Yeah. Riding around the street with a stick all black. Yeah. Try with a poker, we ain't with all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ooh, hey, the million dollars, now I can't go back. Got a lot of jewelry on me, man, you can't hold that. Tell him that I ain't so crack Know your money long when your people can't afford that I'm ballin' yeah. My mama told me that I did my calling I keep that stick, I don't do no brawling Open up the doors and let them all in here Yeah, they all in here Ooh, big dog They come back to pound, so we big dog Heavy paddock on me, break my wrist off I'm young, I got a rocket by the lead dog Ooh, three, two, one, I got Status, I'm a big dog, bitch. I 